Сега малко на македонски. Добър ден на сите. Најпрвин да се заблагодарам на Обинетата Македонска диаспора и на Мето Колоски за организирањето на оваа конференција тука во Македонија и да се заблагодарам за оваа убава апликација на Споменикот, кој што до пред 2-3 години не би можел да биде аплициран, но мислам дека заслужува да биде на насловната страна на UMD. Ке кажам неколку работи за македонската надворешна политика и за нашите приоритети. Сигурно дека нема да кажам нешто што не сте го чуле, но би сакал после за време на прашањата и одговорите да имаме можност да поразговараме повеќе. Најпрвен македонската надворешна политика беше и останува посветена на нашите стратешки приоритети, членство во Европската унија и членство membership in NATO and membership in EU. Both organizations are uh, well uh, mature organizations so that we are sure that membership in these organizations for Macedonia is a step forward. Membership in North Atlantic Alliance means more solidarity, more security, more obligations, more friends and more challenges at the world arena where we need to contribute. We have already contributed, as the American ambassador mentioned, even though Macedonia is not the Euro member of NATO, de facto Macedonia acts as one and has military and interoperability with NATO members. We have our troops everywhere where it, need, it needs and we think that is our real contribution and we will go on in order to show that Macedonia has the capacity to share responsibility. Our membership in NATO is not expected in order to gain more than we can give. Our NATO membership we think will be as equally as important as what we can give. Macedonia membership in EU it is important to know that this organization, this union, this alliance of countries is the only one in the world that still attracts sovereign countries to become members, to want to become members in order to gain broader access to market, to solidarity, to collectiveness, to building and sharing common values. And as what the respected uh, ambassador of Great of UK said, Macedonia is not the first one nor the last one country candidate uh, which uh, faces uh, challenges in, uh, in the rapprochement to EU. UK faced similar challenges. Uh, Macedonia we know the only challenge faces, an obstacle faces the, that prevents our deserved membership is the blockage, blockage by neighboring Greece. However, we will overcome it. I think in the period of one generation, two or 20 years are too long of waiting and blocking, which fr frustrates but in, in terms of one statehood and one nationhood and in uh, building one, building contemporary history of a country, 10 or 20 years are just one sequence in the big picture behind us and in front ahead of us. The third point in our foreign policy, our relation with our strategic partners, and firstly, the USA, a country which has leading role in NATO and has key role in transatlantic communication between Europe and US to USA, and a country which is a friend of Macedonia and of the region. Here, I'd like to appeal to all Macedonians living in the USA that we need support here in Macedonia. We appreciate it and we also appreciate and need support there where they, where you live abroad. 
No matter whether you live in Massachusetts or Chicago, or Florida or Illinois or New York or New Jersey, be part of this of that policy. Follow uh, the uh, the Republicans and the Democrats in uh, the states. Communicate with your your uh, representatives in in, po in politics and our goal. Uh, will be uh, better communication and uh, of the two countries and nations. We need your support and we appreciate you, the effort of UMD, because one of the commitments for a stronger recognition of uh, mutual interest of U.S. NATO may be only a milestone where we meet, but it is not the beginning and it is not the end of our relations. Uh, priority is um, uh, if, uh, economic uh, relations uh, and more often uh, mutual visits, uh, citizens, uh, businessmen, and so on, and alleviation of the visa regime. Fourth point, more important, which becomes more important in foreign policy, is Macedonian diaspora, immigrants that live and work abroad, but which, with part of their emotions and their uh, relatives and investments, and they are inseparably related to Macedonia, no matter whether the dream, they dream, when they dream, they dream in English or in Macedonian. As long as they have good intent and want and are motivated to help Macedonia, I think that our relation will be inseparable. What uh, the government of the Republic of Macedonia did is a small but revolutionary step in the rapprochement and intensifying of the communication of the Macedonian diaspora and Republic of Macedonia. Today we have three members of parliament, uh, me members from from our diaspora, who make who decide who make uh, who participate in uh, drafting laws and and strengthen the connection between Macedonia and Australia, Macedonia and uh, USA and Canada, and Macedonia and the European countries. Today, the government of the Republic of Macedonia has at least three ministers which previously uh, were, uh, were successful professors, managers, businessmen, parents, and so on. In and now are part of our government and work on attracting foreign investments. They work on IT and public administration, and they work for Republic of Macedonia. I think that this connection uh, that has been made is inseparable. Uh, there will be no party that will change this connection and transform it. Uh, this connection, the connection can only get stronger. So from the moment of pointing out, uh, ex putting the X, highlighting the diaspora as, uh, as, a, as an important factor, I think that we will only strengthen our, our connection with uh, our diaspora and in order to to have more visits, more ideas, more ideas, more investments, more ge foreign guests, and better, more exchange, and that can bring good to Macedonia. Uh, according in, record, in reference to foreign policy, allow me to say some words about the European Union and the start of the negotiations with Macedonia. I think that. Many governments in the past and now today have uh, given their contribution for Macedonia to to meet the 
the conditions for becoming a member of you, and I'm sure that if it wasn't for the blockade of uh, Greece, firstly as a trade uh, blocking with the temporary inter interim agreement with Richard Holbrook, and if there, if it hadn't been for the diplomatic pre blockage, Macedonia today not only would have had started uh, the negotiations, but Macedonia together with Croatia uh, would have been a member of EU. Because if we had started the negotiations, if we were not blocked by Greece, maybe we would have started the negotiations in 2005, maybe 2006, maybe 2009. However, with each year after the start of the negotiations, we would have been a more prosperous country with better, uh, more reforms applied, and our connection with Brussels would have been stronger, and our membership in this democratic alliances would have been an achieved ideal. Unfortunately, that is not the case now. The, those are missed opportunities, and the greatest victim is the uh, deteriorated confidence between Greece and Macedonia. If you ask me about the name and our relations and expectations, in the interest of Republic of Macedonia, this bilateral issue is, even though it is absurd to be solved, we need to find a way to to get out of this irrational, irrational uh, waste of energy and resource, diplomatic resources. But I think that the person who created this problem, the current prime, uh, Greek prime minister, cannot be the solution of this problem. Uh, that is my stance, and I do not expect the, the issue to be solved uh, during his mandate. However, because we have faced the argument of force by Greece, and we have experienced this in the most direct and open way during the uh, Bucharest NATO summit, we decided to start the proceedings in front of the International uh, Tribunal in Hague. I was representative of our country, 17th of January 2008. There were many skeptics in Macedonia and outside. In reference to this uh, appeal at the tribunal, because Macedonia, whenever Macedonia was discussed on international level, we haven't had many good experiences. The international scene, the international forums, when others decide on our behalf, uh, have not been uh, on our side. But we had a good legal team. We had lawyers from France, Britain, the USA, Belgium, and two professors from the Republic of Macedonia, and ad hoc judge who was our support, Boislav Vukas, professor from the law faculty of Zagreb. Three years later, uh, three years of proceedings, uh, and for the and after. For the first time in our hist in our contemporary history, we succeeded with the force of the arguments to to win against them. The international uh, tribunal, justice tribunal, and that verdict means a lot. I think it will be helpful in future uh, and in the future unrolling of events when Macedonia needs to make a further step forward. What is more important is that the, the lessons learned from that process, what I want to, to transfer as knowledge here and to UMD and to everybody is that that case and should serve as an example 
uh, of um, uh, having more confidence, self-confidence that we should know what we want, that we are a state, a country, that we can take steps in order to defend our national goals and, uh, and we should know that if we have goals and we are well organized we can achieve that goal step by step we should know that it will be difficult but that Macedonia it has a path, path of had competence and people to do it I think that in future that verdict will become more important and will provide side help in uh, reference to the Macedonian Greek dialogue because in front of the Hague Tribunal we we uh, we were voluntarily there and both countries took uh, the uh, had uh, appreciated the, the its verdict I will only say a few words about the Macedonian Greek dispute. It is an imposed uh, dispute. Macedonia is the side which pays the higher, highest, higher price, and thirdly, no one else can decide on behalf of Macedonia except for the Macedonians themselves. We should all know that, be aware of that, and know that the decision will be ours. Time. Uh, it is today. Are not the days when in Athens and Belgrade somebody else decided uh, for the Macedonian people. Now we here in Macedonia decide about Macedonia.